Hi guys, so this is the start of the hazards for Live Oak. Um, this is our first hazard coming into the um, water hazard and this is a really super tough hazard. It's pretty technical for the first hazard. We come around through the water, go through our A turn, back through the water. Um, you can't tell how quick those banks are, but um, they are pretty steep, but they drive really fast. That was our B turn that we just came around. See, gate is on the bridge there. Then we come down, quick turn right in front um, for our D turn right here. Um, then we come across and over um, to our E gate. Um, after the E gate, um, because Nivu had already thought about um, dropping in, um, he drops in and he, you can see him jumping around there, but we hit a post right there and I bent a shaft really bad. Um, and I had to move him off the post so that we could keep going. So we lost a number of seconds there. That was the end of that hazard. We galloped out really nicely. This is the entrance to the gulch. The gulch is the signature hazard for the Live Oak International. Um, I have my mom on the back who is turning 74 this year. Um, happy birthday mom in March. And, uh, I was a little bit worried about flipping over. We've uh, flipped over here in the past, um, so I was pretty conservative. Um, there's a lot of up and downs here um, and around, so I wanted to make sure that we didn't do anything that we weren't supposed to. That is the B gate right there. Um, we had the option of coming either direction to that gate. Um, now we go underneath the gulch um, or through the gulch, or, and then we come across over the bridge um, to You'll see us in a few moments um, to our C and D gates, um, and this is coming around to E. Again, the course designer gave us two different options for E, um, and uh, Nabu was pretty game to the, this day, so uh, we stayed on the inside of a tree that you can't see, so we galloped up over the bridge and uh, down to the F gate and then galloped out. Um, coming out of this hazard, I wasn't sure if he was actually going to stop, which was really bad. Um, okay. So you can kind of see all of our wheels locked there. This is coming into the eagle's nest. Again, um, my horse is super fit and um, this hazard is really technical. Um, so we had to go a little bit on the solar side. He has the, um, he's a Morgan, so he thinks a lot. So he's like, this is where I'm supposed to go. You can kind of see him going up and down and not so forward as he should um, go. Um, that's something that we're definitely working on. So this is coming into our C gate on the other side. Quick turn for that. Up and over, you can see the D gate turning towards us. So we're going to um, go through. Um, and you can see him kind of going up and down. So we're not going as fast as we possibly could um, just because he's saying, hey, where do you want me to go? Um, so as we get better as a team, you'll see less and less of that. So this is the E turn and we come around. He's like, oh, I've done this channel before. And then we get out. So our next hazard is the area hazard. Um, and on this one, so for Live Oak this year, they had us going around on this like merry-go-round. So we'd go past the hazards and jump in quickly. Um, and on this hazard, um, he kind of looks like a bullfighting horse there. You can kind of see him super, you know, up and down, um, sort of cantering in place um, on that entrance. Um, we did okay on this hazard. Um, you can see we're not going as quick as we possibly could. Um, we're um, definitely fast on our straightaways, but um, our communication needs to get a little bit better on that. This is our E-turn, turning to room. And then we uh, hit a plant right there and we take out the plant completely. Um, you can't see the plant moving, but we totally took out a plant. And then we have our gallop out. This is coming in for our next hazard. You can see how game he really is. So each hazard he's sort of getting faster and faster. 
Um, this hazard gets really tight occasionally. It walks pretty wide, um, but it's a bunch of blocks. Um, so you have to make sure that you put your carriage in the right spot for that. Um, so this is coming around. We did our A turn, B turn. This is coming back for our C turn. Um, you can kind of see that the carriage got hung up on a post there. Um, I didn't do such a great job of, of making sure that he was in the right place. This is coming around for our D. He comes back through. And he's trotting there, not cantering. Um, this is our E turn. We turn back through the hazard and hit our F turn and then gallop out. Um, and you can see he's trying really hard. He knows where the out is. He's going as fast as he possibly can. He was a really good boy. Um, this hazard is the Atacon hazard. Uh, right before that entrance, um, we actually got stopped. Uh, there was a Kubota in the middle of the hazard. So we're galloping in and we had to stop like right before it, um, which was really disconcerting. Um, however, we got really pissed off. I got really pissed off and then we drove really, really well. Um, we actually ended up having the fastest time in this hazard of all of the FEI um, competitors, which was really super cool. Um, we only by a couple seconds, but um, a couple seconds always help. Um, and um, so he was really super on it. And uh, so was I for that one. Um, you can see there's no hesitation. There's no um, backing off. There's no jumping up and down from him. Um, he's listening and I'm doing a good job of communicating with him on that one. So, and that was our gallop out. We ended up coming in third in our division, which was super exciting. Um, thank you to Claire and Karen Planinga for spending the weekend with us and Luke Alcorn, um, my awesome boyfriend for navigating for my dad and being a gopher as well. And my awesome two parents who are the best and I couldn't do without them. Love you guys. Thank you.